In this presentation, I will explain working of full wave bridge rectifier circuit. We already have half wave rectifier. I explained half wave rectifier in the last few presentations. So why we need full wave rectifiers? What is the need of full wave rectifiers? By using full wave rectifiers, we can improve the DC output, the rectified output obtained from sinusoidal input up to 100%. We can improve the rectified output up to 100% by using the full wave rectifiers. In case of half wave rectifier, in case of half wave rectifier, we have the output not equal to zero only for the positive half cycle. For positive half cycle, half cycle, we have the output VO equal to VI, the input voltage, which is equal to Vm sine omega t. And for negative half cycle, for negative half cycle, the output voltage VO is equal to zero. So this is what we have in case of half wave rectifier. By using the rectifier circuit, we want to convert AC to DC. But in this case, we are getting output voltage equal to zero. So this is one of the disadvantages in case of half wave rectifier circuit. The second disadvantage, the second disadvantage is high ripple factor ripple factor was equal to 121% in case of half wave rectifier 121% means the AC component is 121% in the rectified output you are rectifying the output to obtain the DC voltage but you are having 121% of AC component in DC there must be no AC component it should be zero but here we are having 121 percent which is actually a very high value of AC component so this is another disadvantage of half wave rectifier the third disadvantage is the efficiency efficiency was 40.56 percent in case of half wave rectifier which is really low efficiency all these disadvantages made us use full wave rectifier there are two types of full wave rectifier we have to study in this course. The first one is full wave bridge rectifier. The second one is full wave center, center tabbed, center tab rectifier. In the next lecture, I will explain working of full wave center tab rectifier. In this lecture, we will deal with full wave bridge rectifier. This is the circuit for full wave bridge rectifier. You can see we have four diodes in this circuit. Let's say this is D1, this is D2, D3 and D4. The resistance here is resistance R which is the load resistance and we have to calculate the output voltage across this resistance. The output voltage is let's say VO. The input voltage is given across this terminal and the input voltage, the input voltage is VI we have to calculate VO for positive half cycle and for negative half cycle first case is for positive half cycle first case is for positive half cycle we are analyzing the circuit for this half cycle VI the input voltage the maximum or peak voltage is VM and when we have the positive half cycle this will be the polarity plus minus and you can see diode D2 will be forward biased, diode D2 will be forward biased, diode D4 will be reverse biased, reverse biased because N side is connected to the positive terminal and P side is connected to the negative terminal, diode D3 is forward biased and diode D1 is reverse biased. I am considering the ideal diodes so we have to replace the forward biased diodes with short circuit and I will replace the reverse bias diodes with open circuit this is what we do in case of ideal model of the diode this diode is reverse biased so it will remain open circuit D3 is forward biased so I will have I will have short circuit in place of D3 and D1 is reverse biased so it will remain open circuit this is how the circuit will look the equivalent circuit and we have to find out VO so let's try to find out VO the output voltage the direction of current will be like this 
because we have positive terminal here in place of diode D1 we have open circuit and in place of diode D2 we have short circuit the current will choose the path with minimum resistance so it will choose this path instead of this path then it will flow through the resistance like this and from diode D3 to the negative terminal this will be the direction of the current let's say the current is I and we can easily calculate VO by using the Kirchhoff's voltage law we have plus VI plus VI minus VO minus VO equal to zero so VO is simply equal to VI and this is for this is for ideal model this is when we have the ideal model for all the four diodes if we consider constant voltage drop model then let's see what we have this diode D2 will be replaced this diode D2 will be replaced by the barrier potential like this let's say the barrier potential is equal to VB in the same way diode D3 will be replaced by the barrier potential VB and VO the output voltage is equal to VI minus twice of VB why twice of VB because D3 will also have the barrier potential equal to VB so this is when this is when we have the constant voltage drop model and if we consider if we consider the piecewise linear model then let's see what we have along with VB along with VB we also have the diode resistance this is VB RD is the diode resistance so the output voltage VO is equal to VI minus twice of VB minus twice of I RD this is what we have as the output voltage twice of IRD because the same model will be there for diode D3 I will try to plot the waveform for all the three models I will try to plot the output waveform for all the three models here this is omega T this is VO I am plotting for the positive half cycle so 0 to pi in case of ideal model VO is equal to VI so we will simply have the input voltage as the output voltage the peak value of the voltage is equal to Vm in case of constant voltage drop model Vo is equal to Vi minus twice of Vb so the output will look something like this smaller than the input voltage Vi and if we consider the piecewise linear model then we have the output voltage something like this the peak voltage in case of constant voltage drop model is equal to Vm minus twice of Vb the peak voltage in case of piecewise linear model is equal to Vm minus twice of Vb minus twice of I R D the diode resistance I hope this is clear to you now we will analyze this circuit for the negative half cycle for the negative half cycle we have already analyzed it for the positive half cycle now we will analyze it for the negative half cycle from pi to 2 pi this is omega t and here we have vi the input voltage when we are talking about the negative half cycle the polarity will be like this minus plus vi this is resistance r minus plus vo is the output voltage diode d1 will be forward biased diode d1 will be forward biased because N side is connected to the negative terminal and P side is connected to the positive terminal in the same way diode D4 will be forward biased diode D2 will be reverse biased and diode D3 will be reverse biased in the earlier case in the earlier case diode D2 and D3 was forward biased and diode D1 and D4 were reverse biased in this scenario the situation is changed we have D1, D4 forward biased, D2, D3 reverse biased. Again, I will do the same thing. I will replace them with their equivalent model. And now we are considering only the ideal model. I will not consider constant voltage drop model or piecewise linear model. This was only to explain you. So we will consider all the four diodes as ideal. I will quickly make the equivalent circuit. This is what you have once you replace all the four diodes with their equivalent model. Now I will try to trace the path of current I 
we have positive terminal here so current current will flow like this out of this path and this path current will choose this path because this path is short circuited least resistance then it will go through the resistance the load resistance R after this it will choose this path and finally to the negative terminal this is the path of current I I will again try to find out the output voltage VO by using the Kirchhoff's voltage law we will move in the direction of the current I so we have plus of VI minus VO equal to 0 again VO is equal to VI in case of half wave rectifier we had output voltage equal to 0 for the negative half cycle but in this case the output voltage is equal to VI the last thing we have to do is to plot the output waveform and this is the most important thing in this lecture the output waveform this axis is omega t this axis is VO and we are plotting the output waveform for one time period 0 to pi pi to 2 pi 0 to pi for the positive half cycle if you see the direction of current it is like this from right to left through the load resistance and the output voltage is equal to VI the input voltage so we have we have the waveform like this for the positive half cycle and if you see the negative half cycle you will find the direction of current the direction of current is again from right to left and VO is equal to VI so again we have the similar plot for the negative half cycle now you can see we have the better waveform we have the better output waveform as compared to the half wave rectifier in case of half wave rectifier this portion was equal to zero but in this case we are getting the identical waveform as the positive half cycle so definitely this model for the rectifier is much better as compared to the half wave rectifier and if you use the capacitor if you use the filter capacitor like this then this waveform will smoothen like this this will be the output waveform and this looks much more like the DC this is all for full wave bridge rectifier in the next lecture I will explain working of full wave center tab rectifier so see you in the next one